Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my April favorites for you. Uh, just nail polish this month, nothing really else was going on very much, so just nail polish. The first one I'm going to mention today is this beautiful Simple Colors. If you watched my um, YouTuber tag video, I mentioned that Simple Colors has been blowing my mind since I started trying them. And this color is no exception. This is Endless Blue. This blue is absolutely stunning. It's just a straight up cream. There's nothing, you know, extra going on in here. But when you put it on your nails, it just like glows off of your nails. It's absolutely stunning. I had people, random people stop me in the street and ask me what I was wearing when I had this on my nails. Absolutely beautiful. Um, if you remember from my haul video, I said that a friend of mine from work um, brought me a bottle of nail polish after I asked her what she was wearing on her nails. When I was wearing this, she asked me again what I was wearing. So I went and bought her bottle to say thank you for the bottle of nail polish she brought me because this is just a timeless blue that needs to be in everybody's collection. So if you don't have endless blue, it is in the core line for simple colors. I really recommend going to pick it up. It's absolutely beautiful and I don't think you'll regret it. I had this on my nails for six days. And that does not happen to me at all. So you need to pick this up. It's absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend it. So this is Endless Blue from Simple Colors. The next polish I want to talk about, I also had on my nails for about a week. And this is Pearl Jammin from China Glaze. I don't know why I held out for so long in picking this nail polish up. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's got this lovely... I don't know if the camera's going to be good. It's got that, like a ready gold lash in this pale blue base. It's absolutely beautiful. So I put this on my nails at the beginning of the month and I wore it for a week. That was because it was the week of month end and generally I don't get home until 8 o'clock at night so by the time I got home from work I really didn't want to change my nail polish and this was absolutely beautiful so I'm like why do I need to change it? It's still gorgeous. There's no chips. It's absolutely wonderful. Why would I change my nail polish? So this is absolutely beautiful. It is still available on websites like um, uh, Sparkle Canada and um, Nail Polish Canada. I know it's available there because that's where I got it from. So this is um, China Glaze Pearl Jam. Next polish I want to mention is from Kiwi Shimmer. This is called uh, Got It Sandaled. This is from their new spring collection. This has got a gorgeous purple pinky flash running through it. Can you see that there? It's absolutely beautiful formula on this is two coats to be fully opaque. I love this one too. It, it was just something about it on your nails. It was beautiful. I have two pictures of this for you. One in artificial light and one in sunlight. And um, I think the artificial light does show the color shift a little bit better, but still absolutely beautiful. So this, it should still be very readily available because it just came, it was just released not that long ago. I don't know if it's in stock though, but it probably will be restocked very soon if it's not. So this is Got It Sandaled from Kiwi Shimmer. This next one uh, is one that I picked up while I was in the States. This is called Nails of Paradise. Um, this was an Ulta exclusive for the Fiji collection. This is beautiful. I've heard it's a dupe for something else, but I can't remember what it was. Phoebe Moon did a full comparison on these, uh, the three Ulta exclusives with other polishes that she had in her collection and it, they looked like they were dead on dupes so it's probably just a renaming on um, OPI's part but I did not have this, whatever the original of this was, in my collection. This is not what I'm wearing on my nails in case you're wondering, although it does look very similar. I have Jomina on my nails from Ilamasca right now. But this is absolutely beautiful, just a purple cream. It's got a bit of a dusty quality to it, and I do like my dusty polishes. So this is absolutely beautiful. So this is Nails of Paradise from OPI. Next one I want to talk about is Orly's Vintage. This I mentioned in my picks for spring. I finally wore it as a full manicure, and I fully agree with what I said in my spring picks. It's absolutely beautiful, perfect polish for spring. These minty greens, they just get to me. Like, I'm not really a green person, but I think it's the minty tones that get to me. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this. Two coats to be fully opaque on the nails. Um, I believe this is now in their core line. So if you don't have it, go pick it up because it's absolutely beautiful. And one thing about Orly's is you get more product in here than you do with an OPI or a China Glaze. China Glaze and OPI. China Glaze is 14 mil. OPI is 15 mil. 
this is 18 mil. So you do generally pay a little bit more for Orly, but you are getting a little bit more product. So that's a good thing to note. So that's Orly Vintage. And my final nail polish favorite of the month. Did you think I was not going to mention this? This is uh, Mermaid's Tear from OPI. I finally picked this up um, off of eBay for myself. I've been, well, I've had this on my loving list for years, and I finally bit the bullet because I found it at a half decent price, um, and I ordered it. Like I've seen this on the, in the past go for over a hundred dollars, that kind of stuff. I managed to get it with shipping for about twenty five, so I was happy with that. So it's still very expensive. So most of it paid for. Uh, it's the most I've ever paid for one single nail polish, but I'm happy to have, finally have it in my collection. It's an absolutely beautiful polish, two coats to be fully opaque, beautiful dusty green color. It is very different from uh, My Dog Sled is a Hybrid. My Dog Sled is a Hybrid is a lot brighter than this. Absolutely beautiful. So if you don't have this and you want it, they can't still get it on eBay. Uh, the sellers that I purchased this off have had, I think, one other bottle available. I don't know if it's still there. Um, if it is, I will link the listing down below. So if you're interested, you can go pick it up. It came from Bulgaria. So I was kind of worried with the whole Royal Mail thing if it was actually going to get to me, if it was going to get destroyed. But I made it here, so I was happy with that. So this is Mermaid's Tear from OPI. There was one other thing I wanted to mention uh, for favorites this month, and I got sucked into a show on Netflix uh, called uh, 13 Reasons Why. It's about uh, a young girl in high school who commits suicide, but before she dies, she records tapes of the 13 Reasons Why she's killing herself. Um, it's very powerful, it's very emotional, and I'm watching it from a parent's standpoint, my heart breaks for the parents because I can't I can't imagine if I was in that position how I would feel how I'd react and like it just broke my heart and yeah I just I won't I'm, I'm scared to send my kids to high school when they finally get to that age that's that's that comes down to it I know how cruel kids can be because I dealt with bullying when I was in high school but kids nowadays have to deal with social media as well as dealing with bullying in the classroom. When I was done school, I got home, I didn't have to deal with my bullies until the very next day. These kids nowadays have to deal with their bullies 24 seven because they're dealing with them on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, everything. You can imagine they're dealing with these bullies 24 seven. So like my generation, we could go home and we could relax until the next morning. But the generation now with all this technology and all these social media apps, it's just, it's scary and I don't know how I'm going to deal with it when I have when my kids get into that age range where they're going to have their own phones and you know their own Instagram accounts and that kind of stuff. It just it frightens me to think with what, what I'm gonna, what's coming down the line. Like Blake's eight. He actually asked me if he could have a cell phone a couple weeks ago, and I said no. He was way too young for it. There's no way he's getting a phone at eight. That's ridiculous. But you know, it just it scares me. To think of what's coming. Um, the other thing with um, with 13 Reasons Why, in that in that series, the um, she uses a nail polish to write the number on each tape and what number it is, and she also paints her nails in that color. And see, at the end of the at the end of the show, she's using Endless Blue in that uh, show. There's actually a petition going around to make this nail polish the color of suicide awareness. Uh, I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but there is a petition floating around to make this color the, the color of, of suicide awareness. So anyway, um, suicide is a big problem with young people. I know that um, I'm going to leave some links down below for where you can get help if you are feeling like you need it. Um, you know, it's tough. I know what it's like to be bullied. I was bullied in high school too. Um, your parents were probably bullied in high school as well. You know, I don't have that many people who are in that demographic watching my channel, but if you are in high school and you are having a hard time, please go talk to somebody. It is never an option. It should never be an option to take your own life. It's, it just should not be. 
So anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. I love each and every one of you and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.